phase log loop the learning outcomes of this presentation that after the completion of this presentation the students will be able to describe the working of operating principle block diagram of phase log loop the students will be able to describe the operation pin configuration of a PLL IC 565. The students will be able to state the application of PLL as frequency multiplier FM demodulator. The phase lock loop concept was first developed in 1930. Since then, it is used in communication systems of different types, particularly in satellite communication system. Before the invention of ICPLL, systems were very complex and costly for use in most consumer and industrial systems. Now, PLL ICs are fabricated at a very low cost. Therefore, their use has become attractive for many applications such as FM demodulator, stereo demodulators, tone detectors, frequency synthesizers, etc. So, let us see the block diagram of phase lock loop phase lock loop essentially is a feedback system consisting of phase detector low pass filter error amplifier and voltage control oscillation essentially this phase lock loop is comprised of these four components phase detector low pass filter amplifier and vco the vco is a free running multi vibrator which operates at a set frequency FO called free running frequency. This frequency is determined by an external timing capacitor and an external register. So, when the external register and capacitors are connected, it decides the frequency of oscillation which we know as a free running frequency. That can that free running frequency can be shifted to either side means either positive or negative by applying a DC control voltage. So, this frequency deviation is directly proportional to the DC control voltage and hence it is called voltage controlled oscillation. Now, let us see it is working. Let us assume if an input signal Vs of frequency Fs is applied to this PLL. At the phase detector, it will be compared, means this input signal Vs with frequency Fs will be compared with the output voltage Vo of the VCO. <coughs> if the two signals differ in frequency and or phase, the error voltage VE is generated. The phase detector is basically a multiplier and it produces the sum Fs plus FO and difference Fs minus FL. So, that is why this plus minus both frequencies are there Fs plus FO and Fs minus FO. Now, the next stage is a low pass filter. We know at the low pass filter, the high frequency will be attenuated and the low frequency will be passed. So, essentially the Fs plus Fo will be attenuated and only Fs minus Fo will be available at the output of low pass filter. Now, this difference of signal, difference Fs minus Fo will be amplified by this error amplifier. And then it is um, applied as a control voltage VC to this VCO which will produce the VO with certain frequency of FO. Now, this Fs and FO will be compared at the phase detector and there will be a race or we can say there will be a comparison and accordingly the error voltage will be generated. The attempt will be such that this difference will be reduced. Once this action starts, we say that the signal is in the capture range. The VCO continues to change the frequency till the output frequency is exactly same as the input signal frequency. 
the circuit is then said to be locked. Once logged, the output frequency of VCO is identical to FS except for a finite phase difference phi. This phase difference phi generates a corrective control voltage VC to shift the VCO frequency from FO to FS. PLL tracks the frequency changes of the input signal. Thus, PLL goes through three stages. First, we have seen a free running one. Then it tries to capture the frequency. So, the next stage is capture and the last is lock or tracking. So, essentially we see the PLL goes through three stages. First, free running, then capture and the last lock or tracking.